Hey folks, Ted here today with XBED. I want to talk to you a little bit about the newest mat in the XBED family. It's one of our new down mats. We've been doing down mats for a number of years. We've had them in all the most extreme conditions. And what we come back to is that down is still the most comfortable, warmest uh, insulation we can use in the mat. And we wanted to make a mat in down that was affordable, that could be used for backpacking, mountaineering, backcountry skiing, a whole range of stuff, uh, paddling scenarios. and we came up with a down mat light five down mat light five is has all the sort of traditional x bed features and we've done some tweaks and brought those features uh, on board so that it really packs down into a really small light tight package like this let's go ahead and show you some of those features that we've got going on again we start off calling it down mat light five five refers to the thickness the, the thickness of the uh, of the air baffle that we've got on the top and all the center baffles are five centimeters thick the outer rails or rail baffles are um, in this case seven centimeters thick so it gives you a little bit of a cradling effect this is a feature that we use on all of our mats but when we use a welded through baffle it becomes a little bit more obvious and visually uh, understandable in what we're going on through here the other feature we carry through is the flat valve the flat valve te technology is a very very solid mechanism you've got your purge valve on the inside you've got a nice uh, solid fastening cap over here and I'll talk about that a little bit more later on um, that single flat valve is both your inflate and your deflate valve, and you'll see how that works in just a second. Um, excellent mat, super warm, super comfortable. I'm going to show you how the whole setup inflates and deflates. So you've got your mat, nice tight package, very effective for backpacking um, in terms of weight. It comes with a pump, it comes with a repair kit that's inside the stuff sack. And I, right now I'm going to inflate the medium size. So I go ahead and open the mat up lay it out I'm going to open the valve I'm going to take my pump again same nice clean fastening mechanism real positive lock snap it into position and then I like to hold on to the pump on the back side use my hand as the valve cover over this hole and this is basically our mini pump and I'm just going to take it and begin to inflate it like so now it should take me about I can do this really slowly or I can do it really fast but it should take me less than two minutes to inflate this mat overall. And you can see the air cells begin to inflate. Starts off with the front side and then gradually moves to the back. We get this going all the way through here. Again, with about a two minute inflation, it's one of those things where I typically like to take the, the mat, unroll it inside my tent, and let it sit there for a few minutes just to allow the down to naturally kind of fill the chamber it saves a few extra pumps gets it all set to go um, and then once I've done that then I come back a few minutes later and actually begin the pump process the pump is filled with foam and so if you I guess I'm right there all set to go and inflated now be sure that you always take and you close the valve at the end this is just a purge valve, it's not airtight unless you actually close the lid, snap that shut and you're all set to go. Now, once I'm going to use this mat, I'm going to go ahead and take this thing, well, I'll use the big fat, wide, super wide one to show you a little bit closer. When I'm laying on this mat, slightly downhill in this particular position, but I spend the night on it. Now when I want to go ahead and roll it up in the middle of the night, uh, in the middle of the night, in the morning, I'm going to go ahead and take this valve and open it up just like so now there's a little separate pin I don't know if you can see this a little bit farther away but this pin right here we just go ahead and take that and insert it right on the inside and you'll hear it it just burps the air right out there and use my body weight to deflate the mat then I can go ahead and squeeze the air out like so and when I'm finally done push the air to the front side of the mat like that get it all all squeezed out use body weight to purge the air out of the mat and then when I'm done at the very end I pull the pin out like so and then snap this shut after I've got it all rolled up put away and you're set to hit the trail thanks a lot you guys